Well, today in Sarasota, for the past two years, researchers with Moat Marine, the FWC, and other organizations have all been working to develop technologies to fight red tide. And today, one of those methods was put to use. It involves clay being sprayed into the water. Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan shows us how it works and the hope for the future. The mixture coming out of this hose could soon be used in the fight against red tide. So it's just going to be small baby steps because that's the most uh, responsible way to go about this type of work. Outside Mount Marine Laboratory, Dr. Christy Lewis with UCF's National Center for Integrated Coastal Research deploys a technique called clay flocculation. It's a project led by Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute and Dr. Don Anderson. We are seeing some definite changes in the water column. We think it's really positive. This method has been used for decades in South Korea and China fighting different algae blooms. A specific clay is mixed with seawater, creating a slurry. It's then sprayed in areas where red tide is present, like this canal. They create this kind of umbrella, and they're creating this matrix that kind of takes the Crania brevis out of the water column, and at the same time, we're hoping that it's taking nutrients out that could potentially fuel the red tide, and then it takes it all the way down to the seafloor. Testing is done every hour to see if cell counts diminish. By sight, it appears to be working. A lot of good will come out of this, a lot of data that the, the folks at Moat will have to look through, but we're hopeful, of course, that this will be beneficial in solving our red tide bloom. In 2019, Governor Ron DeSantis allocated $18 million in state funding over six years for a red tide initiative through Moat Marine Laboratory. This is one of more than 25 projects in the works. Florida right now is leading in the world in developing these new technologies to mitigate harmful algal blooms. And that means that we've got to have a visionary legislature and a visionary governor here that understand the importance of protecting and conserving this environment. And this is one way we're going to be able to do that. More testing needs to be done. But for now, it's a positive beginning. We want to make sure that the cure is not more harmful than the disease. And so that is really what we're doing. In Sarasota, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News. This is a first of its kind testing here in the U.S. And researchers say data is the key in testing. And if they notice any harmful results, they'll certainly stop or lessen the amount of clay that they use. But if it's positive, they can scale up the testing to larger sites.